Oh, thank you for watching this video. This video is brought to you by NewQBR.com. NewQBR.com. Uh, this is uh, part three of our video. So in this video, we're going to focus on exporting from QBO to QuickBooks Desktop, QuickBooks Online to QuickBooks Desktop, like Premiere uh, or Pro. Okay, so QuickBooks uh, Quick Part One. We focused on. Uh, step one step two and step three uh, and part two we focused on step four and step five so there is already converted to uh, a desktop and uh, part three of this video I'm going to focus on uh, you now make sure your data is accurate so we're going to verify data in QuickBooks desktop so in order to do that uh, I'm going to run uh, trial balance in here. Reports, trial balance, trial balance report, okay. And I'm going to change this to all dates, change this to cruel, and run report right here. Okay, and then on desktop, I'm going to do the same reports and accounting taxes, and then trial balance right here and you're going to change this to all dates in this case just all this right here it's already refreshed okay so I'm going to make this small and to see I can compare side by side here we go okay so the first one is 2624 2624 that's accurate uh, the third one, it says checking here, the credit is 7978 and it's 9000 here. So you can see the difference in here. So you have a variance in there. So you need to go uh, each line item, each account, and see where it's off. So if you look at the bottom one, it's 145983. And in here, it's a different amount. See, it's a different amount. 968 you know uh, the mix is different too so you got to go line by line and see the difference so at this point you can you, you know you have a choice now okay so you just do one entry uh, through all dates through July 3rd or you can go back each year and see uh, uh, if there's a variance or difference then it's a fixed each year or just uh, uh, make one entry through December 31st 2015 last fiscal year and then do one uh, for this year okay so my video focus is going to be do one entry uh, for last year uh, through December 31st and then uh, do one for uh, uh, for for July 3rd 2015 16 okay so uh, in order to do that what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to last year last year and last year is going to be January 1 through 2015 December 31st 2015 right run report and I'm going to do the same in here all and last fiscal year which is this okay right here and in here as you can see here the top one is still accurate A checking and in here there's a difference you know 2500 so at this point what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, download to Excel, export to Excel export to Excel this one okay export to Excel I'm going to open this and you have to enable editing right now it's blank the moment you click this then you'll see the data right here it's the data okay and then I'm going to do the same thing uh, for desktop so Excel in here create new worksheet export okay so this one this is the one for desktop QBDT right here QBDT okay 
So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to copy this to the one I did for QBO. Copy and paste. So I'm going to copy from here. This is the desktop one and paste to QBO one, which is this. Make this a little smaller. Okay, so I'm going to leave one, two, three column space, and then I'm going to do it right here. I can do it right here. And just paste it right here. Okay. Now, so now you can see side by side. So this is a desktop one and the other one is the QBO one right here okay so now you can see side by side and see the difference here in here 3662 2500 right so I'm gonna write you know debit and credit in here okay so difference between these two 3662 minus 2500 is 1162 right okay so we have to go through line by line each account and see where the difference is okay I already done one right here okay so as you can see here as of December 31st 2015 so these are the accounts you have uh, uh, variance and so you've got to make adjustments to those accounts right here right so QBDT is on the right side and QBO is on the left side and here's one checking count is off by 1162 in 2500 here and other receivable five bucks and on desktop it didn't even convert you know you didn't convert so there's a five dollar uh, missing in there Okay, board of acquisition, uh, the QBO is 162 and in here is 90 bucks, so $72 off. And uh, sales income, QBO 1305, and desktop conversion is 200 bucks, so it's off 1105. And by the way, this QBO file is not that big, but still uh, we're seeing a uh, uh, difference in here. So if it's a huge file, you may see, uh, you know, uh, some of the issues. Uh, and uh, other other uh, over is under is expense 10 bucks and uh, desktop it didn't, it didn't even convert so it's ten dollars here okay 1177 total you know debit and credit okay so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write journal entry for uh, you know for all these items so I'm gonna make this small a little bit I'm gonna bring it down here okay and so here's a desktop make this small Okay, journal entry is right here. Make journal, general journal entries. You know, right here, com, uh, company, and make journal, general journal entries. Okay, and the date you want to select is December 31st, 2015. December 31st, 2015, and first account is uh, uh, checking. Just right checking. I'm checking see it's right here checking right 1162 okay and then second one is other receivable is five dollars other receivable five dollars and oh. Okay, and board of equalization payable is seventy-two dollars. That's the credit one. And sales income credit. Eleven seventy-two, eleven oh five. Sorry, eleven oh five. Okay, and then ten bucks. 
10 bucks for Oberer's underage, underage expense in here. 10 bucks. Okay, so, so our total is, uh, total on debit side is 11.77, total on 11.77 on the credit side, it's right on. So I'm gonna rock and roll and save this. Save this. Okay, and now I'm gonna run trial balance again. Okay, so this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do all now. All, okay, all, and same thing on the desktop. So on desktop we already fixed through December 31st, 2015. So all we have left is for the for the for this fiscal year, but. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna do all all dates okay in here all run again okay and uh, you want to do the same thing you want to download this as you can see here all dates and I just want to compare again I'll show you the side by side again so it's in seven nine seven eight in here seven eight three eight so you still have some difference right so you go to download this to excel again you know all you have to do is uh, uh, come here and export to excel in here same thing and do the same thing so I already done for 2016 not that one there we go I'm gonna go to 2016 so when you download you know it's all all dates through the July 3rd, 2016, right? So just download this, and on the other side is the QBDT, which is this here, this, you know, and the left side, as you, you know, as, as like the other one we did, is the uh, QBO, okay? So this is all dates through July, 3rd 2016 as you can see here uh, 2016 all we have is like a seven nine seven eight seven eight three eight hundred forty dollar difference right and in here uh, hundred forty dollar difference so uh, only those two difference so this is like a credit in here Okay, so I'm going to do this credit. Okay, so uh, I'm going to write a journal entry again. Company, make journal entries, and checking again. So this time it's July 3rd. July 3rd. And uh, it's checking account. Credit as 140 and board of equalization payable is on the debit side is 140. There we go. Okay, and uh, so I can write uh, conversion uh, QBO to the memo QBO to Q, QBDT conversion. adjustment like this copy and paste so we could do the same thing another one too right here Okay, so now all transactions, all dates, right here. And so this is also all dates, right? There we go, 26, 24, 77, 79, 78, 124, 58, 040, 
so you can go line by line and it should match now as you can see here 145.9804 on debit side 145.9803 or 4 on credit side and exactly the same now okay so we did uh, one adjustment for 2015 so that covers everything and that was for as of last fiscal year and then uh, one for this fiscal year okay so you know that's how you have to do it you know uh, hope you enjoyed uh, this video may be helpful uh, you can always visit our website newkeyviewer.com newkeyviewer.com and for part one and part two of this video uh, underneath of this uh, part three video you'll see the link you'll see link for part one and you can, you can also see link for uh, part two so you can check it out so altogether uh, part one part two and part three that covers uh, uh, you know all the conversion process. Thank you. Bye.